Hello, everybody, and welcome. My name is Susan Clem. I'm working in process automation in digital industries at Siemens, and I'm very happy to welcome Stefan Handel, project manager at Evonik. Today, we would like to talk about our experiences of the first project of the new process control innovation, Cematic PCS Neo. I was on the engineering team, and Stefan was the responsible project manager. Before we go into the project details, can you please tell us a little bit more about which kind of plant or process we are talking about in this project? Suzanne, nice to see you in this setup. We are talking about a research facility with several plant areas. Here we can, for example, optimize polymer processes developed in the laboratory. Some of these plant areas are also rented to external companies. These companies can test the production of their new product and manufacture it on this smaller facility before expanding their system and starting production in large-scale plants. Some components were no longer state-of-the-art and had to be replaced, including the SCADA system. We took this as an opportunity to fundamentally revise the process control technology and put it on a sustainable platform. And additionally, we have optimized the control loops and reworked the operator displays. What has been the major reason for your decision of using Cmatic PCS Neo as your new DCS? We wanted to implement the latest generation of process control technology in our plant, which enables new methods of collaboration. We also needed a modular approach with MTP to flexibly expand the plants and adapt them to specific customer requirements. Thanks to its open and flexible architecture, Somatic PCS Neo offers exactly this flexible modular engineering. This means we are well prepared for upcoming standards, such as package unit integration with MTP. I am happy to take another step towards digitalization with a completely web-based process control system for engineering and operations, which enables the virtualization of systems and system access without local client installations. And with a new user interface, our employees can make changes in the system more quickly. As you mentioned in the intuitive user interface, for me as a young engineer in my pioneer project, I was expecting kind of a personal challenge to get familiar with DCS engineering. But Cmatic PCS Neo made that pretty easy. Whether it's hardware, technological engineering, or the operator view, the structure stays consistent. I was intuitively guided by the system, and I was able to do a quicker job because I found functions and tools in places where I naturally expected them to be. And the project-oriented data management eliminated potential user-created errors because one change in the process object, such as a motor or a valve, updated all other facets and guaranteed project consistency. If you think about last year, what was the biggest challenge in the project? The considerable time pressure. Three months after the project start, we have to have one of the subsystems already in production. One month later, the remaining subsystems had to be converted. Therefore, Siemens already carried out the first factory acceptance and site acceptance tests parallel to the engineering. The multi-user engineering really saved a lot of time here. That's true, Stefan. For me, the time pressure was also the biggest challenge. We needed to engineer the system from scratch. Originally, it was a SCADA system. Therefore, it was not a Cmatic PCS7 to Cmatic PCS Neo evolution. The first part was a small project with about 250 IOs. In the meantime, we added several more plants. We installed and engineered the system in Karlsruhe, and a few weeks later, we shipped the hardware to Evonik and performed a test of the engineered plant area. The first engineered plant worked as a template for the other three plants, which are a 70% copy of the first one. It has been now almost a year since you migrated your polymer research facility to the new process control innovation. What are the major benefits in operating your facility with Cmatic PCS Neo? After the first employee training sessions, we quickly realized that the clear and intuitive operation helps new staff to shorten the learning curve. This is made possible, among other things, by intuitive and guided navigation through process images and alarms. The alarm management is also presented so clearly that employees can see at a glance what needs to be done.
Thanks to the object-oriented approach and the use of drag and drop, the team is able to work much faster and consistently across all engineering tasks. Semantic PCS Neo provides us with a number of new functions that makes the process control system much easier to administer than before. All user information is centrally stored in an active directory in the PCS Neo domain. We can maintain the system centrally via the administration console, and we also have a complete inventory of the installed hardware and software components. Somatic PCS Neo made the 40-year-old Polytechnic fit with for a flexible future and with the multi-user engineering, it supports our team in their daily work. With multi-user engineering, you can split work packages between different people. Different tasks can be assigned to different people. And it is possible to have a complete team working in parallel on the same project, anytime and from any location. Everyone in his own session, and as soon as you approve your changes and progresses, everything is consistent displayed to everyone. That is exactly the flexibility and efficiency we needed. By the way, I also like the fact that thanks to HTML5, the resolution always fits perfectly to the respective screen size. You can zoom in and out while maintaining the same high quality. I totally agree, Stefan. The multi-user engineering is my personal favorite highlight of opportunity Cmatic PCS Neo offers, as it really helped to finish this project on time. The system gives you the opportunity to split tasks, how it is most efficient for your current project situation, and doesn't force you to perform engineering tasks in a specific order. We started with the engineering of the first plant area and adapted our classical workflow. One person was focusing on the CFC engineering, while the other engineer was doing the hardware and display engineering tasks in parallel. I want to stress the point here, in parallel. There was no need to wait until the hardware engineering was finished. So we had the opportunity to split the work by plant area and not between hard and software. Thank you, Stefan, for being here with me. We are happy to hear that Ivanic is very convinced of our new DCS. In addition to that, we've been lucky in having a really solution-oriented and pragmatic customer, and the collaboration was really fun. And we also want to mention that the cooperation between Siemens and Ivanic continues. Our next step will be the integration of MPT modules in the existing plant areas, and thus to include even more plants into the system and even easier. Stay tuned.